Now let's discuss Napier's Rule. Napier's Rule is used to solve right spherical triangles. Triangles with 90 degree angle. So yung formula for Napier's Rule are these. No need to memorize all these formulas as long as you know these two rules and this figure. First is you have to memorize this figure here. For you to easily remember it, just draw a stick figure. Draw its body, draw its legs, draw its arms, and then draw a big circle. Again ha, draw its body, its legs, its arms, and then a big circle. Next is you have a small letter C bar. Then you write a capital A bar, capital B bar, and then small letter B and small letter A. So this has to be alternating A's and B's, so that is A, B, A, B. Okay? So if you've noticed, there's no capital C. It's because in this case, we have already let angle C as the 90 degree angle for our right spherical triangle. Okay? Now, what if, for example, you have interchanged your A and B here? If you're wondering if it's okay, then the answer is yes, it's totally okay. So, again, here we have our Napier circle. Draw a stick body, its legs, its arms, and a big circle. Then, right here is our small C bar. Now, if you've written B bar and A bar here, it's okay. As long as you still follow the alternating A's and B's. So, this is B bar, A, B, A bar. So, that is B, A, B, A. Now, take note. A bar is 90 degrees minus angle A. B bar is 90 degrees minus angle B. And C bar is 90 degrees minus side C. So, ito sila. Sila talaga yung final answer natin, na Okay? Assuming that we're okay now with the figure, let's proceed with our discussion regarding the sintan ad and the sin coop rule. So to cut our explanation short, when you say sintan ad, that is um, sine is equal to tangent of the adjacents. Again ha, sine is equal to tangent of the adjacents. So for example, let's choose angle A. That's sine A bar is equal to tangent of the adjacent. So, as you can see, adjacent sides of A bar is B and C bar. So, sine A bar is equal to tangent of B times tangent of C bar. Say, for example, let's use side A. So, we have sine A is equal to tangent of the adjacent sides. And the adjacent sides of side A is side B and angle B bar. So, that is sine A is equal to tangent of B times tangent of B bar. Now, let's try the sin coop rule. So, that's sine is equal to cosine of the opposite. Sine is equal to the cosine of the opposite. So, say for example, we have C bar. Sine C bar is equal to the cosine of the opposite. So, the opposite sides of C bar is A and B. So, that is Sine C bar is equal to cosine of B times cosine of A. Another example, let's choose side B. Sine B is equal to the cosine of the opposite. So the opposites of side B is B bar and C bar. So sine B is equal to cosine of B bar and C bar. So if you repeat these two rules for all sides and angles, you'll get all these formulas. So, let's apply everything we've learned so far and let's try to solve this problem. Solve for the spherical triangle whose parts are A equal to 73 degrees, B equal to 62 degrees, and angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Okay? So, take note class, you have angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So, that is, uh, meaning to say that is a right spherical triangle. So, we can use the Napier's rule to solve for this problem. Okay, so first, draw the Napier circle, draw the body, legs, arms, and a big circle. So this is C bar, A bar, B bar, then alternating A's and B, so A, B, A, B. We already know B and A, and we need to figure out the values of angle A, angle B, and side C. So to solve for side C, we can use the sin coop rule. 
that is sine of c bar is equal to the cosine of its opposites. So that is sine c bar is equal to cosine b times cosine a. So we have sine c bar is equal to cosine 62 times cosine of 73. So c bar is equal to 7.89 degrees. But take note, this is not our final answer because c is equal to 90 degrees minus c bar. So side c is equal to 82.11 degrees. So now we know side c. Next is we can solve for angle A. So we can use the sin tan ad rule. So that is sine A bar is equal to the tangent of the adjacents. So that's sine A bar is equal to tangent of B times tangent of C bar. So that is sine A bar is equal to tangent of 62 times tangent of 7.89 degrees. And take note, class, that we have already solved for the value of C bar from our previous solution. So, A bar is equal to 15.11 degrees. Okay? And angle A is equal to 90 degrees minus A bar. So, that is 90 degrees minus 15.11 degrees. So, your angle A is equal to 74.89 degrees. Now, we know the value of angle A. Last one is angle B. So to solve for angle B, we can use either sin tan ad rule or sin coop rule, whichever you want. So say for example, let's use the sin tan ad rule. So that is sin B bar is equal to the tangent of the adjacents. That's sin B bar is equal to tangent of A times tangent of C bar. That's sin B bar is equal to tangent of 73 times tangent of 7.89. B bar is equal to 26.95 degrees. And angle B is equal to 90 degrees minus B bar. So that's 90 degrees minus 26.95 degrees. And therefore, we get angle B is equal to 63.05 degrees. So our final answers are side C is equal to 82.11 degrees. Angle A is equal to 74.89 degrees. And angle B is equal to 63.05 degrees. Now, let's solve one last quick problem. A spherical triangle ABC has an angle of uh, C equal to 90 degrees and sides A equal to 50 degrees and C equal to 80 degrees. Find the value of B in degrees. And so, take note, now you have angle C equal to 90 degrees. And so, you have a 90 degree angle. Therefore, this is a right spherical triangle. And we can use the Napier's rule to solve for this problem. So, again, draw the Napier's rule. Body, legs, arms, and a big circle. C bar, A bar, B bar. Then, alternating A's and B's. So, that is A, B, A, B. So, we know the values of A and C. And what we're looking for is side B. And we can solve for B using the sin coop rule. So that sine C bar is equal to cosine of opposites. That is sine C bar is equal to cosine of B times cosine of A. Where C bar is 90 degrees minus C. So we have sine of 90 degrees minus 80 degrees equal to cosine B times cosine 50. Solving for B, we get B is equal to 74.33 degrees.